Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now, today on the show, we have with us a very special guest. She's often referred to as one of the Fantastic Four of Nollywood. She's a movie producer and she's also an actor. So today she'll be leading us through her journey as a movie actor to a movie producer. And she's also a diehard fan of Serena Williams. We have with us Ufoma Magdemo. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> Thank us. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us. I just Thank had to you. chip that in real quick because <laughs> we started on the Serena Williams note. Yes. And I would ask you, yes. what side of the divide are you, are you on? I, I honestly don't know that there is a divide. I think that um, the measure to which an offense is thrown should not be the same major measure to which we expect the response to that offense. So if I give you 100 naira annoyance, I don't have a right to say you must respond in 100 naira. It might meet you as 1,000 naira. Do you understand? So I think that um, if, if, if you look at the whole, everything that happened during that match, and considering that it was a championship match, I really think that on discretion, the umpire could have done a lot of things more differently. I think he could have. Maybe to have calmed her, yes. calmed her down. Even if, even if it was not, it's not his job to calm her down. She should calm herself down. But I think on discretion, there are many things that he could have decided, let's let it go. It's a championship match. And whoever won, his show is going to be made. You know, uh, he should have just allowed the game flow. So apparently, I, I think, think it's just time for us to now decide that they need to go and work on those rules. I, 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 I actually think that it's okay that Serena has been fined because she, she has to pay for her actions. But I also think maybe the umpire should, should get some kind of fine too. Okay. I think so. Interesting. I like the fact that you're also wearing monochrome black and I white. Know, like, right? Right? Like, I know, right? Like, no, we're just twinning on this <laughs> <laughs> But nice. thank you once again so much thank for being you. here. And we thank want to you. find out all about your journey today. Yes. Now, I understand that you have shifted over time from being a main stage actor yes. to being a huge producer and yes. filmmaker. <laughs> Tell us about that journey. Um, well, so I started acting in 2004 and... For me, what, what I realized, and every time I hear people say, oh, you know, um, a lot of actors are turning producers, I think that the biggest way that you can give back to the industry that has made you a brand, a name, or what have you, is to become a producer. Because at that point, you become an employer of labor. Um, as an actor, you know the things that you could do differently. You know the things that could make a project better. And I, I, I think that a lot of actors turn different directors. Uh, make better projects because they, they understand certain loopholes. For example, I was on a set recently and my, my director was a bit too trusting with my abilities. So he just said, okay, so uh, we're doing uh, scene three. Oh, let's go. And I'm like, well, aren't you going to give us blockings? Aren't you going to tell us? It's okay that from home I already have an idea of what I want this character to be like, but I want to see it from your standpoint and let's meet somewhere, right? So I think um, all of that were the things that made me say, you know what, it's time for me to give back. It's time for me to say, it, it's, it's not enough for me to sit down and say, oh, that film is not nice. Let's see you do it. Let's see you yeah. putting your best. And so in, um, in 2011, it was, I actually made my first film. It was a short film. It got a nomination for the EMVC at the time. And um, I felt I was ready to go with that. It was such a, it was such a successful project. It was called Jungle Jewel. And then in, in 2015, I undertook what just happened as a project. However, it, even though it is my first feature film, it's not my first feature film. How do I explain that? So I started out filming what just happened, but I didn't release it. Um, last year, I filmed and released Christmas is Coming. So that, because that came out first, I think that should be my first. I, I don't know how to read it anyway, so but... <laughs> we understand. I mean, so it's, it's within, within your first and second. Yes, and yes, second, somehow, I don't know where, but, but, you know, I learned so much on the project. Um, when we filmed in 2015, I wasn't happy with certain scenes, and I got so frustrated. I left the film for some time, and then I said, you know what, I just released the TV, and my husband said, it's not going to happen. Your name is not going to be on this project unless you do it right. I said, eh, I'm, not, I'm not going to cinema anymore, let's just... He said, you don't understand. Your name will not be on the project. If you want your name on the project, you've got to do it right. So, you know, we had to drop another budget. We shot 2015, 2016, and 2017. Yeah. For this sense. film? Yes. Okay, we'll so. still come to talk about this film, but I want to take you back to something you said. Okay. That the best way a person who's been given a name and a stage by this industry, the best way to pay back is to create that same platform for other people. Yep. Now, we're seeing lots of actors going to film production. In the same breath, Nollywood has done beautifully. I think a fantastic shout out to people who are putting Nollywood on the international <laughs> map. And more recently, Genevieve Inaji, who did that with her directorial yeah. debut. But some people have argued that our focus in Nollywood 
I'm saying ah because I'm considering myself. You are now. actually. I was going <laughs> to. I was going to attack him. I'm glad you did it yourself. So I'm focusing on Hollywood is churning out quality quantity as opposed to quality. So everybody thinks, oh, I'm now an actor. Mm. I have. I want to. I mean, I all of them want to produce a film or something. Wrong so with everybody that. just thinks, why not? Focus on one, harness your talents there. If you decide you want to switch, go and get professional training on how you can do the other. So what's your take on that? Um, well? First of all, let me, let me start back. My brain worked rest because I'm going to start asking you about the questions. First of all, talking about training, I think a lot of us miss training. When we say training, everybody thinks of an institution, a building, right? So you can study and you can understudy. People need to understand that. Um, um, somebody like a Quentin Tarantino is one of the greatest producer directors today, and he understudied. Right, so it's possible. I I don't I don't have a problem with education. If I have so too many certificates to my name to even miss talk about education, I think it's important. But you need to understand that what we do is very skilled, very hands on, very practical. So your your book education is one thing. You've got to get practical education. So there are people who have understudied and they know what should be done. Um. Secondly, talking about staying in 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 uh, being in one field and harnessing. Try to understand how much of a team sport filmmaking is. As a musician, you can lay your vocals, you can harmonize those vocals. If you're good with your equipment and you own them properly, you can mix them, you can master them, and you can release a full album alone. You can't do it with filmmaking. It's teamwork. And the truth is, I personally say that it's not enough to keep shouting, oh, we don't have good PMs, we don't have, we don't have. You get trained and get into that field. So it's one thing for you to complain and you see a film and you say, there's something wrong with the writing. Go and get training as a writer and let's see how much of a difference your own little, you know, would bring into the game. And that's why I encourage actors who want to produce to get into it in two ways. First of all, being a producer makes you a better actor. I've seen actors who I've been on projects with as a producer and they stress me out. They want to demand for this and demand for that and demand for this. And then they make their film. Two people, it has happened with two people. They call me and they say, Ufoma, I'm really sorry. I realize now that I was just being silly, I was being a child. It comes with the experience. You've got to know what it takes to put that whole project together to behave yourself on set. You know, some actors would need to go through that process to behave themselves. Secondly, like I said, there, I don't think that there's too much of employment of labor. If I'm producing your producing, it means that we're employing three different pr production managers. We've given three families food, you know. So, um, there's no way on earth that I'm going to tell a producer, an actor, to not produce. No, I think I think more is more is good. So you've basically done everything that you said you would do to make your life easier and to give back to such an amazing and phenomenal industry that yes, we have I here have. in Nigeria I today. Have. Now I'm so excited for us to speak about your latest film coming out. Yeah. So let's check out that trailer. And of course, as soon as we are back, Ufoma is still going to be on set with Olive and I, and we're going to be discussing this new movie. Check it out. That's my house, That's my house. Ah! Motiso. Motiso. <laughs> what just <laughs> happened? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. I don't know. Like you I had don't... all the quote unquote crazy people of Hollywood in one film. Craziest Olive. I don't know how we came up with this cast, but I, I think it's just awesome. Um, we had Tony Abraham playing the usher. We had N.C. Abbey playing the pastor. Funny Bone, the choir master. Saka, the driver. Um, Mike Ezwini was the good Samaritan. I was a professor. Uh, Shegu Amisa was my brother. Judora was a semi babalao. Can you imagine? <laughs> I want to hear a brief synopsis of the film, but I know that the film is coming out soon. Yes, when is it's it coming, coming out? out on the 14th of September on Friday. It's Brilliant. out in cinemas oh, really? nationwide. Oh. Um, so it's a story about a disgruntled professor. She's young, but you know she's attained uh, a professor status in the U.S. But she's a bit dissatisfied with her life because she thinks she needs a man. Uh, so her brother invites her to come and take up a visiting lecturer uh, position in UI. She arrives here and she thinks she knows all. She's better than the Nigerians who've been on ground. And everything goes wrong, from chasing the driver out of the car, insisting that she'll drive herself, to getting lost, to getting robbed, and getting to the hands of masquerades, and, <laughs> you know. So you put things. yourself through the and, wars. And the funny thing <laughs> is that the story is a story in a story, because she's yeah. recounting the story as a testimony in church, mm. and that's another drama. Wow. Brilliant. Wow. Horrible drama. <laughs> this looks amazing, though. It's, I'm so excited so to see it. It's what so are you funny. expecting from the outcome? Um, in all honesty, I'm hoping that people see... I mean, I'm a romance freak. I love romance. But Me this, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't go into romance with this one. I'm like, uh, but I wanted people to see 
a complete craziness in comedy. Like, you know, when you come up to me, you're like, what did I just watch, you know? Um, I, if you had seen crazy comedy before, I wanted it to be fresh. That was the whole idea of putting together this. Because it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy being on set with these people. We're laughing every second. I can only imagine. So well, we're basically <laughs> looking forward to seeing this, and we're hoping that people come out of the studio laughing as crazy so. as we I want them so. to laugh. I hope so. Uh, what's, what's the plan? What do we expect from you? Any movie dropping in the next year? Maybe um, a movie you've been working for in the past five years? Actually, there are two projects I've been working on, and uh, God, it, it, at this point in my life, and maybe in my career, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared because I'm looking for the lesser of the two projects to start with, and I can't seem to find which is less, because, you know, one might require um, an international actor, the other one will require so much special effect that I might have to do my special effects out of the country or flying people to do it. So whichever way I look at it, they're like big projects and I'm really scared. Like You might just have to go heads or tails I and know. choose that way. I, <laughs> I will look forward to seeing all that. All Absolutely. That you're working thank on. you. Thank you very much. The former, thank you so much for joining us on the show thank today. And you. how can people also follow you if they want to contact you? For I'm anyone? sure you can reach me on all social media handles. They're, everything is at Ufoma McDermott. So Twitter, Facebook, everything at Ufoma McDermott. Now, when people release a film, usually they have like an Instagram page. Does yes, still we have do. At, at WJH Movie. So that's at What Just Happened Movie. Okay. On okay. Instagram and on Twitter. Last question before we let you go. Yes. How was it playing lead in a film you were producing? Um, well, for because this was my first project, so to say, it was tough. But at the time I was when Christmas is coming, I was acting in it, producing, directing, and um, I handled a lot of my logistics and all. And I thought it was a lot easier doing it the second time. The first time it was it was more difficult because I was pregnant. Wow. I, was, I was pregnant. So when it, they it say, was... can women have it all, we <laughs> just know. respond with our actions. <laughs> you indeed have proved that we can have it all. <laughs> we can. I'm proud of me. you. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you We so hope that much. you know the film gets all the buzz that it deserves. So. And we look I forward to so. seeing it ourselves and giving it all to you. Thank you, Thank you very much. We have been Yay. speaking with Ufama <laughs> McDermott, and she shared with us her journey <laughs> as a TV. You know, you were actually a uh, model at some point. Yes, I did Were you model. a presenter at any point? I did, yes, I did present a few The question stuff. is, what have you not done, really? And I've we not been a medical doctor before. The question <laughs> is, what hasn't happened? <laughs> okay, <laughs> what hasn't happened? happened? To enjoy more of these our Ugunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.